Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a smooth will zoom out transition effect in After Effects. Let's get started. This effect looks much better if you stabilize the video first and lock the wheel in the center. If you're new to stabilization or After Effects, be sure to check out the lock-on stabilization tutorial linked in the video description. Once you've finished stabilizing, scroll to the very beginning of the clip with the wheel, then duplicate it. Right-click on the duplicated layer, go to time and select freeze frame to create a still image of the wheel. Now go 50 frames backward, hold shift and press page up five times and move this frozen layer to that point. Trim the layer so it ends exactly where the actual clip begins. Next we need to mask out the wheel as smoothly as possible. For clean results, I'll use Mocha AE, but if you don't have it, feel free to use the ellipse tool to mask the wheel. In Mocha, select the ellipse tool and draw a mask around the wheel as accurately as possible. Once you're done, save the selection and close Mocha AE. Then expand the matte section and click Create AE Masks to apply the mask. Now duplicate this layer. On the top layer, press M to reveal the mask and change the mask mode to subtract. This makes the car visible again. At this point, we have two masked layers, one of the car without the wheel, and one of the wheel only. To stay organized, I'll rename the top layer to car and the bottom one to wheel. I'll toggle off the wheel layer for now since we don't need to see it yet. Next create a new camera layer. I'll name it Zoom, and make sure the type is set to 2 node camera with the preset set to 35mm, then hit OK. Move the zoom layer above the car and wheel layers, and trim it to match their length. Now enable 3D on both the car and wheel layers. Press A on your keyboard, then hold Shift and press P to reveal both the point of interest and position properties. Scroll to the end of the zoom layer and click the stopwatch icons to add keyframes. Then scroll back to the beginning of the zoom layer, select the dolly cursor tool and zoom all the way into the wheel. Now select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor, right click, choose edit speed graph and create a smooth curve. Let's check it. Looks smooth to me. Close the graph editor, scroll to the end of the zoom layer and turn the wheel layer back on. Press S to reveal the scale property, then click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Scroll to the middle of the layer and set the scale to zero. Select both scale keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, go into the graph editor and create another smooth curve. Close the graph editor again. Finally enable motion blur on both the car and wheel layers and let's preview the result. That looks super smooth. For the final touch, I'll add a shake effect using one from my shake pack. Let's check it with the shake applied and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.